Hi. What you see here is a ultra low power uh, energy harvesting uh, management chip by Texas Instruments, the BQ25570. And uh, what I'm currently trying to achieve is to find uh, maximum input power into the device. Uh, currently, as you can see, it, uh, it's 80 milliwatts here since um, uh, it takes in 1 volt and 80 milliamps and my assumption is if the input power grows also the output power should grow although currently I'm not measuring it. Um, on the left side you see a voltmeter that is measuring the voltage on the battery. So basically what I will do now is I'll increase the, the voltage. Mm, I currently didn't increase the voltage but the current but let me set up. Okay now um, as I increase the voltage you should see that the input power is growing. Of course I assume um, the output power isn't the same but uh, according to the data sheet um, it's efficient up to 93 percent so I will grow slowly the voltage uh, you can see the voltage here I'm doing this to find um, an optimal solar panel so basically um, that I find uh, optimal uh, voltage output and uh, current supply from the solar panel. Since as you can see um, it's not really taking more than 80 milliamps mm, I have to increase the voltage because the power is actually the voltage uh, multiplied with the current so this is the reason why I'm increasing the voltage as you can see as I increase the voltage the input power grows I'm now over 200 milliwatts. As you can see it's checking for the I guess open circuit voltage however it has some issues let me try to increase it a little bit mm, as you can see somehow it doesn't want to pass the limit of 250 milliwatts but let's try to play a little bit now we are 236 milliwatts
Let me go a little bit down. Seems like somewhere around three walls. Uh, we achieve something around 245 milliwatts. Let's go a little bit more down. I'm still not sure if my assumptions were correct. Mm, the next thing I did was actually to try to find... Uh, I asked the AliExpress seller to get me a schematic of this tiny board. However, he said they don't have it. So, um, I tried to make a schematic to see what the resistors are and I googled a little bit uh, the BQ25570 schematic and I found actually that um, the schematic that this board is actually a copy from the microelectronica uh, board and I'll put it on my side, the schematic. And I put the, the, the resistor values into the Texas Instrument Excel sheet that basically should suppose to help the designer um, to efficiently get uh, the correct uh, resistors although I had them I just wanted to see the uh, the voltage the battery voltage over protection voltage and uh, um, battery um, under voltage protection as well since the chip um, includes both the both of these things Now it's charging but 160 milliwatts. So I guess um, if you get a solar cell that can produce the voltage um, from 2 to 3 volts and that can supply um, 80 milliamps during um, even a cloudy day. Um, I think uh, you are good to go with this um, chip. That would be it. Thank you. Mm, as you can see on my test setup, I'm currently on my left multimeter um, measuring the battery voltage. Um, in the middle is my digital programmable DC power supply where I will try to change the input voltage to get um, more uh, input power into the charging circuit and on the right side you can see the um, the actually it's, it's, it's also a voltage multimeter but uh, it's measuring the charging current into the battery and basically what you can see it's um, around 15 or somewhere between 15 and 16 milliamps um, I will try to increase the voltage to get 
more uh, input power into the BQ25570 and let's see if the charging current that you can see on the right multimeter will actually grow as well sorry yes that's growing Principle should be simple. Um, the higher the charging current is, um, the faster the battery will be charged. Not sure, can you see the battery? It's here. It's a really tiny one 110 milliamps lithium polymer. Oh, let's increase the voltage. So we reach the point where it stops um, really charging the battery since there is a boost circuit inside of the ICE and at some point I guess if the voltage if the input voltage is higher than the than the battery voltage uh, it will stop. Yep, as you can see the charging current is actually decreasing. So let's go down. Then again it starts charging with 45 milliamps. Let's go. Go, let's go to two walls. As you can see now, the battery is being discharged with 500 microamps, but now again um, the circuit started to operate and it's charging the battery. Let me check if I disconnect uh, this uh, microcurrent gold, if this actually influences the charging circuit because it might charge actually the battery more without any circuit in between. So yeah, it's actually charging with uh, a higher current, the battery, if there is no um, circuit in between. For more details, uh, you can find an article on lab for iot.com l a b number 4 iot.com
Thank you for watching this.